This video will show you how to mount the build plate structure. We introduced a spool holder before. During the assembling process, it's a spanner of different sizes. You'll be using it throughout. Don't forget to consult the user manual for full specifications and references of the pieces we'll be using. We start with the main piece. The first task is to mount the linear bearings. The easiest way we can recommend is to slot the bearing in the corresponding hole. Put the clamp in place, hold with a finger, then turn the whole lot upside down and apply the washers, then the nuts. Screw the nuts in finger tight. Use the spool holder to fasten the nuts and try fastening them equally instead of one at a time. Be sure not to fasten too tightly and stop tightening as soon as the bearing stops moving. In this step, we attach the heated build plate to its underlying structure. The wire coming out of the build plate must face downwards. A hole in the center of one of the edges of the plate gives the orientation. This is where you will thread one of three screws, and it's where we will start. You must thread a screw through the hole, then place a spring on the screw. Thread the tip of the screw through the hole in the structure. Apply a washer and nut, then tighten. The nuts in this step are nylock which means you won't be able to keep on tightening past a certain point. This way, it won't be too tight nor loose. Tighten slightly by hand, then finish with a hex key and the spool holder. Finally, clip in the printed part as shown. Next, we'll be assembling Y-axis linear guides. Here are all of them, and the ones you need are the two shorter ones. Now insert the guides into the linear bearings. Once they're in, they should slide in and out freely. Any resistance might be a sign that you fasten the clamps that hold the linear bearings in place too tightly. Next we place the printed parts. Don't forget you may have to shave strands of leftover PLA off for everything to fit properly. Place one part on each rod end. With this done, it's time to fasten the build plate and guides to the frame. Once again, orientation is all important. Looking at the frame head-on, the printed part you clipped to the build plate structure must be to the left as you see here. Now it's just a matter of screwing the guides into place. Apply all the nuts, washers and screws, but don't tighten them fully just yet. Apply a screw, washer and nut to each printed part to secure them to each steel linear guide. Take care to tighten the nuts, but not too much, as that may damage the printed parts. The final step is to tighten the screws and nuts that hold everything to the frame. Again, don't be too harsh so as not to damage the printed components. The build plate and Y axis are now assembled.